If you're a fan of Outrun, Enduro Racer, Synthwave and Retrowave music, and perhaps music visualizations too, then Palm Ride will be a game that might be of interest to you. It's a small and succinct gaming experience that came out on PC today, and it evokes all of my late 80s, early 90s arcade nostalgia, in all of the good ways. You play this game using the keyboard, either the arrow keys or WASD, to move left and right and slow up and down your car. Because unlike Outrun and other racing games where you'd go down an endless motorway and you'd have to hit the end of a stage before like a time limit or deadline, that's all done away with in Palm Ride. You can go as fast or as slow as you like. The challenge here is about precision. So you start off with zero lives and if you hit some traffic or fall off the road then it's game over. But you can collect triangles that give you extra lives so that you can crash into some traffic um, or fall off the road and it won't end your experience, you kind of just lose a life. You can have three going at once and it kind of means that you judge your own difficulty level depending on how you want to play. You can just pootle along quite happily doing not very much and just kind of slide saddle around the traffic and you'll still get to the end of the destination or eventually give up and die um, and it will just register how far you've got and that's your top score. Outside of that you will then want to go as fast as you can and try and hang on around some of the corners and it does evoke that um, outrun style feel where you're trying to hang on for dear life where a lot of those late 80s um, early 90s games where it was racing down the endless m1 worked uh, and played outside of that the game has also got a couple of other mechanics you can pick up bullets and shoot using the space bar to clear some of the traffic uh, and refill with more bullets that you collect you've got a boost power up that you can use which is very helpful for when you're trying to get over jumps in roads and you've also got a power up that lets you fly. Now there's three different stages that you can uh, drive through and two of those I believe have the flight mechanic pretty much embedded into how those stages work because you'll need to pick up the flying mechanic to then have enough momentum to fly and glide over the ginormous gaps in the roads because otherwise you'll land in the sea or collide into building pillars that are in the way and you'll lose lives that way as well. The other element of Palm Rider is that it's also a music visualiser and so in the background of everything that you've got depending on which level you're playing you will see that there's like stereo bars going up and down and that reacts to the music that's playing. The game does come with a very small but very good synthwave soundtrack but what you can do is then clear out a specific folder and dump in mp3s and it will play them on repeat in a loop around uh, the game that you're doing. So you can use that almost like an idle music visualizer um, just mucking about playing the game whilst also enjoying your music. Obviously your mileage in all of this, literally, will vary. And the only real competitive edge around Palm Ride is when you get to the final unlockable in the game, which is Rad Guy mode. This um, basically mashes the three different stages that you've seen beforehand together um, and turns it into an online leaderboard. But it's about how far you can get before you crash out and die rather than you like completing a certain bit within a time period. What was really cool about it is that it does drop in some of the people from the leaderboard into your game. So you get to see them driving off, spearing around, crashing out, that kind of stuff. So it's fun to see what other people get up to to do. But largely, Palm Ride is a solo experience. This game's not going to be for everyone. It's for a very niche audience, but it's also very cheap. So if you want to enjoy those outrun retro feels in just a very short pick up and drop down experience that's not going to leave you kind of ah forever, then Palm Ride at literally about £1.70 is not going to break your bank balance. Written review will be over on highplanegames.com. Till next time, take care. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplane Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.